Good morning, modern setters. Good morning. It's a rainy day out again today. I feel like we've been living in a rainforest for the last couple of weeks, if not a month. I'm not complaining. I'd rather have the rain than be in a drought, but man, we've been getting a lot of rain lately. It hasn't been a month, maybe a couple weeks. Two weeks. You ladies ready for breakfast? Where's the rest of you, huh? Here they come. There you go. The only animals that really like the rain are the chickens. They usually seem to come out and enjoy it in the pigs, but the pigs this morning are still sleeping. They're not out. They're sleeping under their roof. Go on and camo and little man. We're up here at the off-grid property and surprise, surprise, it rained overnight. And it's been raining on and off all morning. Look at the view. Some clouds are just rolling in. So the secret is build a trench and the rain will come. That's true. So I wanna get up above at the IBC tote this morning and get that filled up with water and see if we have any leaks and then if we don't have any leaks and the water system is working, we can finish backfilling the rest of this. But I don't wanna backfill all that yet because then I'll probably be working in a pond up at the IBC tote. Is it wet over there? This is your first video to the series. We are working on building a gravity-fed, spring gravity-fed water system up here at our off-grid property. We got one hydrant there and another hydrant over there. The line is backfilled. And we've been dealing with a lot of rain and our trench is filling up like that. And the IBC tote is up there. So this morning I want to get the IBC tote filled with water from our spring and see if it comes out down this end. I'm going to go open up our hydrant down there. So this way when I'm filling up the IBC tote all the air will be coming out and it won't be getting air bound. And now it's raining. Look at this it's pretty tall. Right? You're gonna have to get up here and mow it. All right, so let's get this opened. Now we can go up above and get some water flowing. All right, I don't need that. haven't checked up by the IBC tote in the last few days to see how it's going, how everything is working up here because I've been a little nervous. Every time I come up here, there's more and more of a cave-in and I didn't want to be thinking about that right now. No, nope, everything over here is good. Our foam came off of the pipe, which is fine. That's no big deal. <sighs> well, that's a little disheartening. I saw it in the comments and I was hoping it wasn't going to happen, but it just did. 
the side of the IBC tote is all caved in there and there and probably on that side too so uh, I guess we're gonna be working on filling up this line for now I don't know kind of at a loss we got some rain coming in I have to get a different container to bury Hi, right, your mama so I don't know where we're gonna go with this part of the video right now probably gonna have to go run and see what I can find for a tote to bury because evidently IBC totes are not meant to be buried in the ground hmm <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen but it makes sense those IBC totes are not very thick plastic, so the pressure of all of the dirt just caved it in. I was hoping by not burying it all the way in the ground yet that once I put the water in it, then I would bury it and it wouldn't cave in. But, yeah, all right. Yeah, so it's caved in there and over there. it with water it won't be able to cave in anymore but then again if we have to drain it for any reason the sides are all gonna cave in at that point so I'll be back once I figure out what we're gonna do all right so I've been in the house making some phone calls doing some research I found a tank it's a lot bigger than what I was originally looking for First one I found was a 300 gallon tank. That would've been perfect. They had one and then they got back on the phone and they said, we just sold it. Oh, how can you sell a water storage tank so quickly? They have another one, it's 500 gallons. We don't need it that big, but I mean to have 500 gallons of water storage, that'd be pretty slick. And then that'll mean our water system will work even better because we're gonna have that much more pressure in the system from the 500 gallons to go to our water lines. So it's not what I was planning on doing, but I think it's gonna work out for the best. We're gonna have to find out. I don't know exactly the shape of the tank and everything. So let's go get hooked up to the trailer and then we'll take a ride, get it and figure out all of our plumbing. It's probably gonna change up a lot of what we had already done. The water line might have to change the fittings on the end, so. Let's get hooked up to the trailer and go get it and we'll see what we're working with. So I'm not exactly sure size-wise what the dimensions of this tank is. I know it holds 500 gallons. Our IBC tote holds 275 gallons, so it's gonna be almost twice as size. So if it's four foot, it might be four foot by four foot by eight feet. I don't know. We got a 14 foot long trailer, so we'll find out. in a southern climate where we didn't have to worry about water freezing, I could do an above ground sister. But we live in a northern climate where it gets cold. And I'm hoping that this won't freeze all winter long, but it might. So worst case scenario, we won't be able to use it for the worst or the coldest parts of winter, but I'm hoping that the system will work all winter long. It depends on how well the water stays flowing through the spring. And I haven't been there any winters yet, so I don't know how much water stays flowing all winter long. So that's the determining factor of how well this is gonna work throughout the winter. got it. 
lot different than my original plan for this system, but this is gonna make the off-grid gravity water system even better. It's just not what I had in mind. I'll go over and show you guys what we ended up picking up and getting that's gonna make this even better. I was able to find this 500 gallon multi-purpose tank. This can be used for a septic tank. It can be used for a water cistern for rain catchment. So it's two layers. You got black on the outside and then it's got a white layer on the inside which is the HDPE. I think that's how you say that plastic. So it's food grade. It's one that you can bury. I am very surprised I was able to find something local. So I'm happy about that. There's a couple of fittings I couldn't get yesterday. They won't be here till later today. So I'll have to go get those later on. So we can't install this today, unfortunately. But we need to get it up above, get everything set up. And then it's gonna be a few days before we can do any more work because tomorrow we're supposed to be getting just over an inch of rain. And the day after that, we're supposed to be getting just under an inch of rain. So we're supposed to be getting two inches of rain in two days. So. We need to get set up so once the rain stops, <laughs> we can finally get our tank installed. It'll be worth it. It will be. I'm just not very patient at waiting. you can't do with ratchet straps. They're a pretty ingenious idea. You can do a lot of different projects with ratchet straps. All right, I wanna take a look and see if we should be doing anything to prep this area for the two inches of rain we're supposed to be getting over the next couple of days, or if I should just leave it alone. I think I should dig out some of this dirt so that way if more washes in and just be careful of the pipe back there yeah i'm going to dig this out just a little bit working out in the wilderness makes everything that much more adventurous it's more of a challenge let's go across our ditch put the tote down and then dig that out hoping we can get across over here without having to take the tote down I don't hit the water line that we already put in here because if I do that means I'll have to replace it and I don't want to have to do that.
All right, I'm gonna keep this end up and out. So if we do have any more caving right here, we can just tow it out anyways. I don't have to worry about this part of the line. I'm, this part of the line is buried from being washed out already. So if I can't, if I need to get this dug out further, I'll have to splice the line further back in and dig this trench back out most likely. But Maybe we won't have to, so I'm gonna just tie this end up. I think there's a rock by your foot, maybe I can tie to that. fall over. I'm going to have to look and see how much rain we've gotten since we started this project because we got quite a bit. We weren't supposed to have any rain when we first started and then it's just kept raining and raining and raining so it pushes us back a couple of days here and there. It smells like Kool-Aid. No, I, I was going to say that. It smells like some kind of fruity chapstick. Yeah, like Kool-Aid or Lipton iced tea or something like that. Something know. fruity. It's something all over here. I noticed it since I got out of the truck. Must be some kind of wildflower growing or bush or something. Huh. I was going to say something to you, but the last time I said something, you thought I was crazy. I don't know what we're going to come back to in a few days after two inches of rain, but I don't think there's much else we can do. I feel that if I take this out right now, that's going to make it worse. If I try digging up the line anymore, we're going to make it worse. I just kind of feel like I need to leave it the way it is and I'll see what it's like when we come back and we'll have to deal with it from there. I hate making videos like this that are kind of nothing gets fixed and just down and gloomy, but the weather hasn't been helping. It'll be nice to have water up here so we can rinse off the equipment after we get it stuck in the mud. All the water we're dealing with here doing this water line reminds me of when we were planting the pasture at our homestead now. That summer we kept getting rainstorms like we're getting right now. Big rainstorms that aren't forecasted and then you're getting a ton of rain. But I will say the grass here looks amazing. Look at the grass. I know it's pretty patchy but the spots where it's growing that's over six feet tall right there. I'm gonna have to get up here and get mowing some of this area. That's looking good. Got to take the good with the bad. We'll look back at this afterwards and we want to remember it. That IBC toad has had it. We got some rain last night. You can tell it's collapsed in even more. It needs to get replaced and I am glad that it happened now than later on. At least the whole system isn't completed yet. My bulkhead fittings arrived. Now we just need to run into Lowe's, get the fittings we need that'll screw into this that'll go to our PVC pipe.
should have everything we need. I hear your goats calling you. I'm gonna say ten eggs. I'm gonna say nine. Nine? Mm -hmm. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve today. Wow. To make it up for yesterday. Yeah. This is our third batch of meat birds. Give them some more grain for the day. They've already had three scoops of grain. They'll probably end up going through nine today. I'm hoping once all this rain goes by, we can get the meat birds out on pasture. Hope, what are you doing? Pooping? Thanks. Your babies are calling you. Hope goes in to nurse her babies and Daisy comes out to go hang out with the big girls. Cause Hope's not that nice to Daisy. Come on. Huh, Daisy. Yeah. Did you get yourself any apples? Huh? Where's your buddy? The apple tree's all weighted down with apples, so little man can reach some of them. Oh yeah, nice apple. You keeping this spot a secret from Camo, huh? You not letting Camo know about it? I'm gonna do a cucumber salad tonight. I'm gonna do it different than I have in the past. We have one with a mayonnaise uh, vinegar base with pasta. We find that it's really good, but sometimes you just need to mix up a little. So I'm just gonna do cucumbers, which we're starting to get a lot of out of the greenhouse. Super excited and they taste so good. I'm gonna just do some white uh, vinegar here, a little bit of sugar, and uh, we had to pickle some onions um, last canning season, so I'm gonna use some of those, and then I'm going to get it together, and let it sit in the fridge until it's time to eat so it can soak it all in.
half a teaspoon of sugar. I'm gonna throw in my dill. I don't like too much dill. I'm going to do, let's see, two teaspoons of vinegar at first. And these were already put through the food processor when I made them. Some of the pieces are a little bit big. I'm just gonna stick them in just like this. Give it a stir. The hardest part is to get the cucumbers separated here to stir them all in. So if you have any cucumber dishes, I'm gonna have a ton or we're gonna have a ton of cucumbers. Something simple, easy, let me know because I'm always into trying new things. I don't want it to be anything too complicated. Simple, relatively healthy. Let me know. I just wanna see the flavor. I guess it wants me to have two. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more vinegar. One teaspoon. And some more onions. Al and I went through all the tiers of making these. So we are going to use them up. I don't want the little pepper. So we're gonna let this chill in the refrigerator. Maybe give it a little taste test to see if I need to do any adjustments. But the cucumbers themselves are so good, so they really don't need much. Dear Lord, thank you for the wonderful day. Amen. Today's video was a little bit different than normal. I don't enjoy making videos like this, but I keep the content on the channel real, and I like to keep on the channel what is going on and the struggles we're having with the water system is real so i feel like we need to show it it's not so much the water system per se as the weather the weather has not been cooperating with us if we would have had a week worth of dry weather we wouldn't have had an issue with this putting installing the water system but it's been raining on and off it's raining out right now and they're calling for two inches over the next two days so I figure I'm just better off walking away for the next couple of days while we're getting the rain and then come back when we get a dry spell. So there's a hurricane or tropical storm coming up the east coast and I guess that's what's bringing all the rain that's coming now. What we've been getting for rain, I'm not sure, but it does remind me of when we were making a pasture here at this homestead that summer or I should say when we were working on making the pasture we kept getting rained out and that pasture just kept getting washed out and it's very discouraging. So I know I'm not the only one who deals like with stuff like that. So if you guys are dealing with anything that's not going your way, don't give up. I always, people always leave comments or say stuff like, Al, oh, is there anything you don't know how to do? There is a ton of stuff that I don't know how to do, but there's one thing that I don't know how to do and I don't know how to quit. So I think that's something we all need to work on. It's. I need to work on it too because not knowing how to quit is a struggle too. Not knowing when to say enough is enough isn't always a good thing. But never quitting for a dream or a goal you have, it's a good thing to have, if that makes sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was hard for me to edit this one and push 
the publish and upload button because it's just not the style of content I like. But I wanted to put it out there, keep it real. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share the video. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. All those doing all those little different things really helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps YouTube push us out. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video. All right, Figaro?